Well, the Business Council was formed some 30 years ago and Bob Hawke, the Prime Minister at the time, claims credit for it. I describe myself as a godfather. We called the National Economic Summit a month after I became Prime Minister. What he wanted to do was to combine, in my book, big government, big unions and big business in order that they might get together and organise things more effectively. The existing organisations weren't comprehensive enough and uh, so the BCA provided that uh, avenue for me to know that I was speaking to interests of you know, very significant proportions within the business community in the country. And so the Business Council grew out of the need to bring together the largest businesses in Australia sit down with the government and the unions and work out how do we get our economy efficient and productive. All governments need other bodies arguing and advocating economic reform. The BCA has been a huge influencer in the development of effective business and economic policy. Well, anything that tells you what the practical effect of a policy will be. Understanding uh, all the multifarious factors which are operating in the minds of business. Whether it's on a large company or a small firm or individuals is very valuable. You're more likely to make better decisions. And our, our job is really to make the case for growing the economy and sharing the benefits with the rest of the community. They've been there certainly to represent the interest of, of big business, but they have done that within the framework of what's best for Australia as a whole. So what is prosperity? Prosperity is all about lifting the standard of living for everyday Australians. In a day-to-day -day language, it's really, have we got a good living standard and has everybody got the ability to share in that? Prosperity means that we have to get the settings right so that we continue to have the growth. To be able to make this place, Australia, a better place to live, to grow up, to be educated, to have a healthy lifestyle, and to work. It really is that the economy is at the heart of providing opportunities for people. And in there, of course, we're talking about people and jobs, and that means a lot on a social front as well. Well, people shouldn't be surprised when they hear the Business Council talking about issues like health. I think it's quite important that people do understand that business is out there to help society more broadly indigenous employment and education because these are all key to having enduring prosperity. There's a challenge in us looking like we're self-interested, whether it's ACOS or the Business Council, that we're just in it for us. We have to be bigger than just our, our organisation. The truth is that in my experience, there's a very strong focus on what is of benefit to all. Again, you need to hear all voices in the economy. So be they NGOs, government, uh, charities, of employees, of shareholders, of customers. Because that's the way society works. I think the BCA really provides some of that glue and some of that connection and alignment. The role of the corporation from the expectation of the community and government, partly because of their capacity, is that they have to do more things because they are able to get things done. We've got much more in common than we ever have that will divide us. We've benefited from the rigour that, that business leaders and business thinkers have brought to our Indigenous affairs thinking. Well, at the Business Council meeting, I guess I wasn't expecting there to be such determination to collaborate. People who've spent all of their lives helping create wealth and find solutions to, to advancement and so on, they're the kind of people that I benefited from. Like the Australian economy, the BCA has evolved a lot. The Council's focus has changed over the years as the needs of the country have changed. Uh, there are a lot more young CEOs being put into positions that have uh, a different view, and that's welcomed in a forum such as the BCA. Just think about the amount of innovation and change that's occurred over the last 30. I think the next 30 is going to be even more revolutionary. I think it's so paramount that we get young people involved in decision making and the BCA is the perfect avenue for that to take place. Economic reform is like competing in a never-ending foot race. It's a competition, if you like, from which there's no escape. Finishing line kept receding, but you had to keep going, otherwise other competitors would surge past you. 
and it's a competition from which there's no end. I suspect the Business Council in 30 years' time will be bigger and better than ever. It'll continue to be involved with other organisations because we really need to speak together as one voice in order to enhance economic growth in Australia. And if they continue to do that in the changing external circumstances which confront us, then they'll be discharging, as they have for 30 years, a very significant role in the welfare of and the future of this country.